Hi everyone, this is a progress video into the growing of mitrofilums or conofilums. Um, the time now is we're in August, it's in fact August the 7th and um, these plants have had their first drink and the leaves are plumping up ready to fork or make the typical uh, mitre shape. I've shown these before in an earlier stage where the plants look dead. This is a say is a progress video. There'll be another one made when they're more advanced. I'm going to keep this short to show you what they're looking like now. They've had water now for about a week, week, ten days, and they have taken the water up very, very fast. As you can see, the green parts have plumped up. Some of them have still got like a paper skin around them. There's various species. But these are mitrophyllums or conophyllum and they mainly grow like late late summer the rest of the time they're resting as you can see this is a, a grand sight because they're coming into getting green and it means they're alive show you the ones at the back there they're all doing the same thing this particular one you can see the the dry old skins well they will split apart these uh, sections will split apart and the next video will be taken when they're actually doing this there'll be another progress Anyhow, thanks for watching. Any comments, please make. By the way, any of you that are in the south of England, we've got a nice bring them by, or, or a cactus mart as they call them, at Seven Oaks, Kent. That's coming up, I think it's not this coming Saturday, but the next so you know if um, you can make it we get one we'll be there hopefully might even be spending a bit of money anyhow once again thanks again next one of this will be when the leaves have progressed a little bit more just before we go I have just noticed, just noticed the Philobolus, a very rare succulent, is also starting to show growth. Unfortunately, it's also showing a little bit of mealy bug. That is going to be another story because I'm going to make up some stuff that will work. The insecticides you buy to now, you may as well put down the toilet. They're useless. They don't work. The method I shall use is using a little bit of nicotine. It means me going out and buying some backy. I don't smoke, so people think I'm mad. Mix it with methylated spirits soak it in there for a quite a while so the nicotine comes out goes into the uh, mess and then you can paint the mess on where you see mealy bugs and hopefully that will do the trick as I said on, on an earlier video you can no longer get malathion you can no longer get Fowler's mealy bug destroyer all the stuff you can get now as I say 
flush it down the loo and that's the best place for it and look I've also god look at that there's a monolaria greening up there so the next one showing these will show them in an advanced state and hopefully you may see the philobolus I've got two of them I've got another one over, over there in leaf if only they would set seed if they both flowered at the same time I could get seed and also which I won't show you at this stage my beautiful testudinaria or Larsa careers and now called elephantopes is pushed out a stem so that too has also started to come into life that's in the um, the other greenhouse the other side of the Apuntia house but won't see it this time I'll get this one off and as I said before any comments please make any comments about my very bad making up this stuff um, to kill mealy bugs you've got to do some something you know you just can't live with your plants slowly being eaten and destroyed anyhow once again thanks for watching next instalment on this will be perhaps in a couple of weeks time there will be other videos I'll hopefully put up now yeah, thanks again please subscribe please pass comments good or bad or publicity thanks again